Well, Mr. Williamson, it doesn't look like this guy's going to show up around here again tonight. If he was ever here in the first place. Yeah, somebody, something must have scared him off. I don't know. Well, I called Heather at the Taylor's, and she's going to meet me back at the apartment, so I better be rolling along. Did you tell her what happened? No, no, I decided uh, Susan is probably right. It's only going to upset her more to find out that Jameson was the criminal she thought he was all along. Hey, Lou, why don't you get a description of Jameson from Jeff and then take off? I'm sure you got better things to do than hang around here all night. All right, uh, you want to sit over there, Dr. Will? Yeah, fine. Excuse us, Tracy. Of course, Jeff. And uh, will you excuse me for a minute? I have something to attend to. More business? Oh, I just something I have to straighten out. Um, would you like to have dinner? Are you up to that? I'd love it. I, I, I'm starving. I just didn't want to interrupt you while you were working on trapping a known criminal. Yeah, I admire your self-discipline. It's, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I won't keep you waiting long. Yeah, I just want to uh, get something straight as long as I've got the time, okay? What, Mitch? What's all this talk earlier about Heather and Jeff wanting to get the report on Jameson? Now it isn't Jeff. Now it's just Heather. Who is it? What is it? What's going on? I can explain about that. You see, what happened was... Listen, you're doing any games on me. I don't like it. Because you're using my profession. I am not playing any games with you. Heather just called and asked me to do her a favor. So I tried to do it by getting you to call the whole thing off. So you're using our friendship to do it? No. Well, that's what it sounds like, you know? You know, look, I'm straight with you. I want you to be straight with me. I have... To, I am. That's not what it sounds like. All right, I'm sorry. I should have told you it was just Heather, but what harm did it do? What harm does it do? It's the principle of the thing. I'm telling you for future reference. I don't like it, okay? All right. I understand. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. Hope. Are we still going off out when I get off work? Yeah, yeah. It's just everything got messed up now with this Jameson thing. Like, schedule's off. Haven't had dinner yet. Just to show you that my heart is in the right place, I'll make dinner for you back at your apartment. How's that? Sir, I can. I'm going to take Tracy out to dinner here. I'll call you at the hotel later, though. And, uh, how old a man would you say he is? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not too good at guessing ages. Uh, late 30s, maybe early 40s. Uh -huh. And uh, the last time you saw him, uh, he was in Canada, huh? Yeah, the last time I heard from him, yeah. Right. Well, it seems odd that the, he didn't call you, uh, let you know that he was coming down here to see you. I know, but he didn't call me. I mean, he was taking an awful chance, driving all the way down from Canada with the hope of seeing you. You, you could have been out of town. Yeah, but what I can't figure out is why he split before I got here. I mean, when I talked to him, he really sounded like he was desperate for money. You know? I don't know. Unless uh, something or uh, or somebody scared him off. You have to remember, Dr. Weber, when you're dealing with uh, wanted criminals, that uh, as much as they may want money, even more important to them is uh, not to get arrested. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, I, uh, I think that'll be all for now. Uh, if you do hear from him, you will let us know right away. Right. Well, then. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Weber. Oh, thank you. Good night. Good night. So I've got to go talk to Hollister for a second. Be right back. Okay. Hello, Jeff. Hi, Tracy. Uh, you want to sit down? I'd love to. We never get a chance to talk. You know, I'm a very good friend of your brother's. Yeah, I know. Uh, Rick's been telling me what a great job you've been doing with the cardiac thing. Well, it's nice to know he's been giving me a good report. Can't say enough good things about you. I understand you were married to my sister-in-law. Yeah, was. You know, Monica's very reluctant to talk about that marriage and that time of her life, in fact. Well, that seems to be something we still have in common, because I don't like to talk about it either. Was it that unpleasant? Let's just say it was a bad period in both of our lives. But it's over now. Monica's happy and I'm glad she is. Well, at least you don't feel any bitterness toward her. That's nice. Tracy, life is too short for bitterness. Excuse me, but we're gonna go eat. We better do it now before the kitchen closes. All right. We were just passing the time. Jeff, it was really nice talking to you. Let's do it again sometime. Please, yeah. And Jeff. Keep me informed about anything you hear from Jameson. I'll keep you filled in on all the reports, and I'm sure they're going to be a lot uh, before this thing's over. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Okay. Hey, uh, one thing. This guy's very dangerous. Don't be a hero. Don't worry. I gave up heroics a long time ago. Okay. I'll see you later. Yeah, good night. Thanks, Mitch. A yeah. lot. Yeah. Excuse me. What about this one? I don't know. Mitch, it's so out in the open. Um, wait a minute. Susan. Susan, dear. Could you do me a favor and find us a nice special table somewhere in the corner so we could talk privately? I'm sure I can find you something. Follow me. Thank you. How much do I owe you, George? Six dollars even. Out of ten. Are you leaving, Jeff? Yeah, I gotta get home to Heather. Oh, I'm sorry things didn't work out for you tonight. Looks like it's not a very good day for either one of us. Why? What's going wrong for you? It's a long story, but it's not over yet. Oh, I better get that. Well, I'll say my good night, Senator. Okay. Good night, night Jeff. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Just a minute, please. Jeff, it's for you. All right. Hello. Yeah, well, how you doing there, Dr. Weber? It's Cal Jameson again. I know. You realize I've been waiting around here for the last two hours? Well, but listen, Dr. Weber, I thought I warned you about setting up any traps. I know, I didn't do anything of the kind. You called me and I came over here in perfectly good faith. Oh, was that so? Well, it just so happens that I saw you with my own eyes talking to the district attorney. Hey, now, wait a minute. I had nothing to do with anything like that. Dr. Weber, I'm really not interested in any explanations. As far as I'm concerned, you tricked me. And I don't take those things kindly. I, I guess you just don't want to know about your son as much as I thought you did. Or you'd be a lot smarter. No, you're wrong. I do want to know. I've got to know. Listen, I'll meet you anywhere you say right now. No, 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 no. Not that stupid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple of days to think it over. Think over the situation and realize that if you don't go along with me, you're never going to find out anything about your son. And let me tell you another thing. If there's any indication that the police are involved, if I get the slightest suspicion, then I'm gone. Now, also, Doctor, make sure this time you bring cash, okay? Because I don't take checks and I don't take credit cards. Well, listen, you're going to have to give me a little better warning next time. How was I supposed to know you're coming into town? What are you, what are you talking about? I called you from Buffalo and I had the operator leave a number where you could have called me back and you never did. You'd have had plenty of notice that way. Well, I didn't get any message like that. Well, the operator left it. I heard her myself. She left it with your, your nurse, that Bobby Spencer over there. I mean, I just figured you weren't interested. At least you knew I was on my way here. Listen, there must have been some mix-up. I don't know, Dr. Weber. Maybe I've just overestimated your interest in finding out the truth about little Stephen Lars. Now, listen, I swear to you, I want the information. I'm willing to pay... Hello? Is that Jameson again? Yes, damn it. And just because Mitch Williams was in here tonight, I lost any chance of getting my information. Jeff, why don't you go over right now and tell Mitch the whole thing? No, no. I'll call him in the morning in his office. I'm going home. All right, Jeff, please, don't forget, don't say anything about any of this to Heather. I don't know, Susan. I don't know. I, uh, I don't want to keep any secrets from her, but I, of course I don't want to upset her at all. If she asks me point blank, I won't lie to her. Good night, Susan. I think you're making too much out of this thing. I am not! Okay, I understand why you don't want anybody to know about the time you spent in Florida. I heard all about it from Lorraine. But come on, Bobby, this Jameson guy doesn't even live in Port Charles. What would he want to tell anybody about it for? Luke, I don't know, but I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. And there's something very strange about him. He's got one of the doctors at the hospital involved in something that is making that doctor very nervous right now. I'd like to know more about him if I could. Well, all right. I'll try to get a rundown on him from some of my connections. But if the guy has nothing to hide, I can't find out Look, anything. he does. He does. I'm sure of it. What are you afraid of? This guy, Scotty, is going to find out about it? Yes, but it's not just him. It's everybody else, too. Okay. I'll see what I can do. When are we going to put our little plan into action against Laura Weber? I'm ready to move on that whenever you say so. I have more ideas about that. i got to think them through. I'll get back to you about it. You know, Bobby... I think you've got a little more of the Spencer blood in you than you like to admit. What is that supposed to mean? 
Only that as panicked as you are about this Jameson guy spilling the beans about your little secret, you forget all about that as soon as I mention evening the score with Laura Weber. And that means, little sister, she's number one on your mind. You're right, she is. Kel Jameson has me scared. I don't know what his game is. That scares me. I have to thank you for a very lovely, unexpected day. They're the best kind. Unexpected days. I know you have this passion for planning everything in advance. But I like those little unexpected things, you know. I don't believe you for a minute. You like to plan things just as much as I do, even more. Oh, no, 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 no. We had a dinner, right? A little unexpected dinner. Went okay. I'll give you that one. So how about a nice little unexpected nightcap in my suite to talk about? Got a uh, early day tomorrow. Can't. Really? Or is it that you have a late night tonight? Don't push Tracy. I gave you my answer. That's it. Fair enough. I just did that because you enjoy the unexpected so much. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. What's so funny, man? Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, I better uh, get going. I had a good day, though. Good time. I'm glad you got interested in football, too. <laughs> well, I happen to love it. I didn't expect to, but I did. Yeah, it's a good game. When did you become an expert in football? Well, I played it in college. So I got through college with an athletic scholarship. Oh, I see. Well, you got there. That's all that matters. Yeah. And now, good night. Oh. Well, I can tell an exit line when I hear one. Yeah, I just... just... again, but uh, I decided against it. Uh, I learned fast, Mitch. Good night.